Bringing issues around Lake Winnipeg to the city can be difficult when the majority of our province's water is out of sight and often out of mind. But that's where the science gallery at the Manitoba Museum is about to make a splash. We put together uh, a whole bunch of different ways that people can learn about the lake, uh, learn why it's important to protect it, and then actually try their hand at taking control of the lake in our computer simulation and seeing if the decisions that they make will be any better than the ones that are being made out there right now. Some of those decisions make that big blob of algae on the shared screen get bigger. I just um, like build houses or like put some bugs and then it and then it went bigger like a little. So we learn a little about what's bad for the lake, but also what actions are good. Trying to eliminate like um, using too much bad fertilizer on some plants, using like organic fertilizer. There are plenty of solutions to the environmental troubles facing Lake Winnipeg, but it's tough to find the one that benefits everyone. But we had to figure out, for example, which is a better way to deal with fertilizer? Is it project A or project B or project C? Which ones of those are realistic and, and, and what do they cost and, and which ones would be um, more popular with farmers? We had to get into all of that stuff. And the results are in plain sight. The, as a player, you just see the algae bloom gets bigger, the algae bloom gets smaller. Am I doing a good job or not? But all of that science had to go underneath it because we, we're not just making stuff up here. This is all realistic information. That's the benefit of the partnership with International Institute for Sustainable Development. As VP for the Policy Research Institute, Hank Venema deals with a wide range of issues from international trade negotiations to climate change adaptation in developing countries. In this case, his team offers real solutions for our lake. Allow ecosystems, whether they be wetlands, natural wetlands, or man-made wetlands, or portions of uh, the agricultural watersheds to absorb nutrients before they reach Lake Winnipeg. Those nutrients are coming from water systems across Canada and the U.S. That means people and governments outside of Manitoba need to be part of a viable solution. If we want to just save the lake, it's simple. Just move everybody out of Manitoba and never come back. But that's not practical. Humans are here to stay and, and we need to find that balance between being able to live in Manitoba and enjoy the lake and have a healthy environment and have an economy that allows us to live here and, and have a happy population. It's really a delicate balancing act. And these kids have an important role to play. It will take decades to solve the problem. Uh, we will see benefits in two years, we will see benefits in five years, but the complete solution will take decades. And it's important to educate the decision makers of tomorrow. Even if it starts with a game. I think it's really fun and it can really, if people make the right choices, it really can help the environment. The Lake Winnipeg Shared Solutions exhibit is a permanent exhibit in the Manitoba Museum. You can get more information by visiting manitobamuseum.ca. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Kasher.